Good morning, everybody. Michael the Maven. Today, I am going to share with you some comments from Canon executives that kind of confirm that the R5 is not only real, it's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm going to give you some analysis in at the end of it. There's actually pretty good indication that Canon has been working on 8K video. We're not talking about a time-lapse feature, actual video for some time. And in that interview, the executive says, oh yeah, it's coming to the EOS R. It's almost a confirmation that 8K is coming. I'm not saying it's gonna be in the R5, but it is definitely coming. And there's also some good numbers that support this. Have to give a shout out to Canon Rumors, theimagingresource.com, and Andrew Reed over at EOS HD because I'm going to include some of his notes, which I thought were very fascinating. There have been a number of announcements from Canon as well as their executives. There was a recent one where a Europe product manager basically said, we're not going to develop EF lenses. That comment is probably more opinion because we've seen more patent releases for the EF mount. And in the 2019 interview that I'm about to share with you, the head of Canon product development says they're absolutely continuing to be dedicated uh, to DSLRs in the EF mount according to customer needs. Now, when a company, any camera company, comes out with 10 lenses in the first 18 months of a camera mount, that's nothing short of spectacular. But when we look at all the patent for lenses that we have coming up, there's like another 20 or so. So 20 to 30 lenses in two years for a camera company is absolutely unheard of. It's never been done before. When I take that and I look at what's happened so far with the camera bodies, it's sort of the same problem that I saw with the Fuji 200 F2. That is a lens that doesn't really have a high-end pro body for it. And because of that, I suspected there's a high-end Fuji camera coming. And this is the same thing with Canon's new RF mount. I wasn't huge on the R when it came out. I thought it was a little bit overpriced. I didn't like the ergonomics. I didn't see any compelling features. I saw the EOS R as Canon dipping their toe in the water of the mirrorless, trying to get a feel for what the market wanted. I thought the RP was really reasonably priced. Uh, great portrait camera for eye detection. But between those two cameras, I didn't really see them as, this, as the par as what we were seeing in the DSLR world. Similar sensors, that 30 megapixel sensor came from the 5D Mark IV. The sensor in the RP came, it looked like from the 6D Mark II, and we weren't really seeing the new sensor tech. So what's going on, right? Let me read to you this quote from Canon's 2019 financial statements because they drop a ton of hints in breadcrumbs as to what's coming. Although we have launched two full-frame mirrorless cameras, as well as 10 dedicated lenses, our lineup is still insufficient. In order to recover from our late entry into the mirrorless camera market, we have plans to launch a model that incorporates a newly developed image sensor and image processing engine that offer even more advanced features. We will work to raise our presence in the mirrorless camera category, leveraging large trade exhibitions around the world. Even amid increasing competition, we will expand sales of higher end models driven by new products and aim for top market share, even in the mirrorless camera market. He says it twice talking about the mirrorless market. They continue to talk about this. They say it's, at the same time, we will expand our lineup of dedicated lenses, launching several innovative ones that take advantage of the new mount that allows greater flexibility when designing lenses. We will accelerate sales by responding to customer need to capture various images, expanding options by combining camera bodies and lenses. That's a very curious statement in the end. Let me give you a little bit of analysis in terms of what I am interpreting this to mean. In order to recover from our late entry into the mirrorless camera market, so he's not talking about the 1DX Mark III, a DSLR. Specifically, Canon is admitting that they got into the, the mirrorless game late. They're like, basically, they're saying, yeah, we're late. We need to catch up. He talks about a new model that has a new sensor and a new processor. He basically says they're going to announce these at the large trade shows, plural, around the world. They even mention, basically, we're not number one in the mirrorless world, but we want to be, and we're going to beat Sony. With all of these things in mind, 
It basically says Canon has something huge coming where the EOS R and the RP are not even close to what they have planned. And all indications point that the R5 is probably going to be the first high-end professional camera. It's been confirmed since then that there's two card slots. And I wanna come back to the question of 8K. There was an interview done by the Imaging Resource back in January of 2019 where Yoshiyuki Mizoguchi, he is the top product planner for all of Canon, okay? And so these questions were prepared in advance. It's, this isn't one of these things where it was lost in translation. But there were several interesting things asked in that interview, one of which was, will we ever see a mirrorless camera replace the flagship, something like a flagship 1DX Mark II? And this executive said, absolutely, there is a, a professional camera coming that's actually in the works that would be on such a high level that it could perform as well as the 1DX Mark II, which was ridiculous. They talk a lot about the focusing systems and the sensors and the technologies in, in the cinema line. So Dave Etchells from the Imaging Resource, I thought he did a great job interviewing him. The article is long, but there's some real gems in there. And he asks it whether or not Canon was using the cripple hammer on its DSLR and mirrorless cameras in order to protect the cinema line. And the answer was emphatically, no, that is not the case, that the image sensor and processors are created differently for the cinema line. I have a hard time swallowing that because of the whole 24P debacle that we saw in the, in the 90D and the M6 Mark II where they were keeping 24P out of those cameras. I was like, why else would you do that, right? But he goes on to say that this is not true and that they're well aware of the wants and needs of 4K with no crop, a faster frame rate for video, internal image body stabilization in Canon log. And many times in that article, he talks about that Canon will make products according to what their customers want. So when the question came up about video in the mirrorless system, he basically said video will play a huge role in the EOS R. An 8K video capable camera is already in our EOS R roadmap. This was about 13 months ago. And typically a camera cycle in terms of the development is it's like 18 to 24 months. I thought Dave Etchells did a really good job because he kept on coming back and trying to get more information about this, these high-end professional mirrorless R cameras that are coming. He's like, is it gonna be in 2025? And the executives basically said, no, it's not that far away. Andrew Reed is the guy behind EOS HD, great resource. He shoots straight. Sometimes he'll say things that you, know, you don't wanna hear, but he's very good about video specs and calling out manufacturers when they do a good job or not so much. He did a really awesome analysis talking about the 1DX Mark III's 5.5K at 60 frames per second. If you go in and you multiply the number of pixels per second at 5.5K, 60 frames, it works out to be about 995 million pixels per second. Well, if you go in and you do the math on 4K, 120, that pixel readout per second is also 995 million pixels per second. And finally, when you go into 8K, and you do the math on 8K 30 frames per second, it also works out to be 995 million pixels per second. So 995 million pixels per second in three different instances of video, one of which already exists in a Canon camera, and then we take that and combine it with what the head product manager for Canon has said, pretty much can guarantee that 8K video is coming to an EOS R camera, He's basically saying we're gonna have professional cameras that will match at least the 1DX Mark II. Sounds like we're gonna get an R5, we're gonna get a 6D cousin. Makes me wonder about the 7D and other mirrorless cameras, but a company doesn't put that much work into lenses like Canon has without having some huge cameras coming. It's going to be a great year for Canon, I'm telling you. Can't wait for the R5 announcement. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments in the section below. If you guys like discussion on these Canon topics, definitely hit that subscription bell. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.